Hello students. We have one small topic of assignment 10.7. Earlier uh, we had uh, discussed resolving power, resolving power of telescope, microscope, numerical aperture and we also saw uh, why oil immersion microscope is better than ordinary microscope. Now we have a small topic in this video, Fresnel distance. What is its significance and uh, how do we obtain Fresnel distance? So uh, let us see that. We know that uh, when we consider a single slit and uh, if we consider light passing through it, the light spreads and the spread is like this. So, if you consider uh, this as center, then we know that the spread theta is uh, directly proportional to lambda by d. What is d? d is this distance and lambda is the wavelength of light incidence. So, if I want to find out how much is this spread, suppose the distance is z, then uh, how much is this spread? So, this spread can be given as, uh, let us call it um, L, so L can be given as Z into theta, that is Z lambda by D. Now, for what minimum distance this L and D both are approximately same, that minimum distance is called Fresnel distance. It means that uh, the distance up to which light is not spreading too much. So, if I compare it with uh, d, then lambda by d. Now, I should be careful when I am comparing uh, this L with d. I cannot write z. I should write z minimum. So, what is Z minimum making Z minimum subject of formula? Uh, we get it to be D square by lambda, where D is the slit size, lambda is the wavelength, and Z minimum is called Fresnel distance. And it is uh, signifying the distance up to which light is uh, traveling almost without deviation. So, that was the topic. Thank you.